You were saying as well that you and your sister your the, the cord on your arm. Yeah, we got them. You get them in um, in England in the Holywell, or else you can get them if a nun, or somewhere like that. They're just for overlookers and to protect you and things like that. What are the colours there? Is it red and white, is it? Red and white, yeah. You'd see them on a lot of travellers and a lot of travellers hidden. And women that is expecting gets one for their stomach. Stomach, or like if they're coming, or like if they're trying to have a child. They'd wear one. They'd wear one. Say if I had one on me, and I'm expecting. But I'd give it to Brutty for the <coughs> Like you pass it on, like for, no, like for good luck. You wouldn't buy a new one now. No. Or you, one thing that you'd never do is buy something holy for yourself. No. You'd never, Brutty wouldn't, I wouldn't, and Brutty would never go in no. now to say a shop and buy something say I would buy that myself my mother bought me that and if she was in a holy place well my father buy for her and she buy for him they'd yeah. never buy it herself no I just I don't know like I just mostly wear it just for a bit of good look like. yeah it's protection really yeah. as well as far as protection a seven ladies cord is fits for women like yeah in my, I, in my opinion it would be any holy like. Um, you wear you wear one, don't you? Yeah, you you wear them for different reasons. Like you can wear them for protection. You can wear them for if people's coming down upon you. Like do you know yeah. what I mean? If people's coming or overlooking a child, you put it on a child to overlook for to protect them. Like because overlooking means bad luck. Like, yeah. And then most people wear them then for some people wear them for wanting to come pregnant or there like for look that way. Like so yeah, it would be for yeah, yeah look for look, look protection. Really. And would you buy it for yourself or would someone have to buy it for someone you? Someone have to buy it for you. Someone buy it for you. I That's got this off my cousin. I didn't buy it myself. Like someone bought it for me. Yeah, or they can get something, give it to you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Once it's given, you can't buy it for yourself. That's the case with religious things, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You can't like, uh, for example, if if it broke, then it's meant to be go look for it to give it to someone then to tie it back onto them. If it broke off you, like you, you, you no longer then need a look or need a protection. Yeah. Of it, like so. If if mine broke off my wrist, now I could I could just easily as tie it onto her. Do you? You're probably a bit older for the Saint Philomena's cord. Was that that wasn't the kind of go when you were a child, was it? No, when I was a child, but when I was having my children, I'd use it. I had it when I was having my children. What's that? The Saint Philomena's cord. Uh, Is that the string women. they yeah, put around? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've, I've only recently. So about that. like I'd I'd have that I mean like wrapped around me when I'd be pregnant with the children, like you know. So, and the nurses in the hospital be doing their best to take it off. You'd be like, no, you can't take it off. But you know then we have the little things. We do have the Philomena cords on the children's arms now. But I put my child to tell a hospital and they were doing it, they had to take bloods or something and they, they were moving trying to take this and a man came in, I'm not sure if it was Indian, Chinese, I know it was one of them religious and, and they used to have a black band on their children's arms. So he knew exactly, whereas the nurses didn't know what it was, do you know what I mean? But this fella knew exactly, I think he was a doctor, but he knew exactly what was going on because they had black, they wore black for their religion on the children's arms for to keep away a ward off evil and all. Now we have but my little girl is tying one on her ankle she has one on her arm, and my young fella is trying to rob her one off her leg. <laughs> and we do give them to him every minute, but he's throwing away. He has my heart broke, he's throwing away. And he's trying to, be, she was asleep in the bed, John, and he was down trying to take off her, her thing off her ankle. I said, Sonia, robbing her thing off her ankle. <laughs> but that's, yeah, no, she's down around the house to fill the same in his courts. They're all around the house as well. But he's not happy with the ones you give him, he wants to take one. No, he loses it, alright. He's out playing football or it's gone. But um, no, I do, I do, I do just believe. Just take the sister's shirt. What's the matter? He's taking it off, and here she wakes up and tells me he's trying to take me cold off my ankle. <laughs> I remember she washed her children. But they're yeah. red and white, aren't they? Yeah, they're yeah. red and white. Yeah. They're I thought, I thought, I thought they were same. Luke has one of them. His hand, your young brother Luke. But I, I thought it was Saint Bridget. No, it's Saint Philomena. Saint Bridget be the cross now. They be the. We have yeah. them in the house as well. The children make them, but we have one there for years in the house. Saint Bridget's cross. And speaking of Saint Bridget, now. Do you know? Jolie Rochelle, j'ai rencontré trois jolies. 